when you meet a man that has done business with God for many years, he can read the writings on the wall and tell you, I know this move. When I was 17 years, this was how the formation of the revival started. And now I see that same formation. So he can guide you. An example of such a move and such an advantage was Eli and Samuel. Although the eyes of Eli was becoming dim, which is a dangerous state spiritually, but he still had an advantage of the understanding this move. The moment he saw a young boy coming and said, Sir, you called me. It's amazing that God used the voice of Eli to call Samuel. He didn't say, I had the voice of him. Mm -mm, I came to you. It was the sound of your voice God used. And when he came the second time, Eli said, Ah, this is familiar. I know this. The next time he calls, say, speak, Lord. Because until you respond, he cannot continue. I, he will not violate your will. Remember that God lures men. Oh, dear. Help me, Holy Spirit. I don't want to delve and talk about so many things now. The way God lures men into dimensions, you see, is to come to you. He knows your spiritual hunger and appetite. So he will manifest something about him that reflects your hunger and hide it back. The moment that happens, it will draw you to want to find out. So as a man of God, you are trusting God for a prophetic grace. For instance, now you will come for a meeting and it's like it will be hazy. You'll be hearing Janet. And say, ah, should I embarrass myself or not? Who is Janet? I'm the one are you five in your we are five you see you are happy and then the next meeting you try it again and it will not work it is not backsliding he's luring you <laughs> dimensions in the spirit cannot only be believed they can be tasted oh taste and see i've always used this example let me use it again i come from the north and I, many of you have them here, right? That these people that sell meat. Yes. They never allow you buy it. They allow you taste it first. Because they know that the awareness of what is in your pocket will, 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 will shortchange their desire to extract more money from you. They know how to manipulate what is in your pocket. So they'll say, don't worry, there's no pressure. You can even go if you want to. They will dare you. And so you plan to spend 1,000 naira. And your wife is standing there with you. And then they just, you taste one. Ah, what of this one? This one is like it has too much fat. Say, they will bring out another one. And say, there's this one doesn't have fat. You end up spending 5,000 naira there unplanned for. When God is about to call Moses... Moses sees a bush burning but not consumed and the, the bush continued there it was God luring him he said I will turn aside and see this great sight the moment he turned aside he said finally I've got it that's all the morale for all this was to get your attention let me tell you this it is hard to get man's attention the distraction that is upon mankind cannot allow us to focus on God and understand. God is very excited when he finally gets man's attention. He doesn't hide it. You see his excitement. That's why when God is trying to use a man and you come to distract that man, God will say, you don't know what I went through to get this guy to now pay attention. You better not be a distraction. There are many skills that the Spirit of God can employ to get men's attention. He can relocate men. He can go as far as making you lose your job. And it doesn't matter in his economy because restoration is still possible. So it's only you that knows you are at a loss. In the economy of God, it doesn't make any difference. Because six months later, you can be back to what you would have been. So you are the only one who is feeling it as a loss. But I mean, the realm of the spirit is looking at me and saying, what is this guy saying? So God can be at liberty and comfortable to let you lose your job. Because you think that if that job does not come, the salary of five months and God is saying, look, there are weightier matters. This is not the issue of the job. 
is the reason why when you are scared and pray some prayers god just overlooks it and says, let's deal with the major issues there is already a provision to tell you sorry later 